Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying this uh, new series of devotions this week and uh, today we're going to end the week uh, looking at how great God is and by how God is holy. And uh, so first we want to just look at what that word means and then we're going to look at what it means for us. So I just wanted to look at a few verses in 1 Peter. But before we go to those verses, I, I just want to, I think it's very important for us to understand who Peter is writing to in this letter. And he's writing to, to Christians who are being persecuted. And uh, so he's, he's telling them uh, during this time on how to persevere. So it's a very, very tough time um, for all people during, during this time. And so I want to look at uh, what does that mean for us today? Because we know today there's a lot of chaos going on and, uh, and it's right around us. So it's nothing that we can hide from or should hide from. So let's just look at a few verses and then let's talk about how we can be holy. So in verses, in chapter 1 of 1 Peter, verse 13, it says, Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Be self-controlled. Self your, set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. So I think that what stood out most for me was to be holy in all you do those are the tough words when it says all because we know as uh, as people that we're fallen that we all fall short of the glory of God but it's something we're supposed to strive to we're supposed to be to strive to not conform to this world to be holy in all things and so the word holy it simply means to be set apart now when we look at God being holy that's something that we can't ever be uh, because he is set apart from all of his creation. There is no one, nothing like God. He is perfect in all things. And, and I love to think of that because when we think of God, he, he's full, he's full of truth, he's full of grace, he's full of mercy, he's full of love. Um, and that's the things that we're supposed to strive to do. So, um, and, and that's not what the world is. The, the world, unfortunately, is quite opposite and we could see that today. Uh, so. How do we be set apart during this time in all things? Well, it's easy that when we see some of the travesties that are going on and, and people just being hurt and people being marginalized is that we want to step right in and just and join in. But that's not what we want to necessarily do. We don't want to necessarily want to join the world because we still need to be obedient to God. And so Jesus himself, when he was walking, he was always set apart from, from man. You could see that, is that they were always trying to, to trick Jesus and, and to get him to be like them, but he, he couldn't. He could, it, wasn't, it wasn't who he was. He was always different, and uh, he always stood out. Even in that time, he was so radical, and uh, he's radical today. And that's what we want to be like. We want to stand up for injustices. We want our voices to be heard. But what's our message? Is our message always the same message that everyone else is giving? No. Our message should be the gospel. It should be love. And, and, and it's simple. Like Jesus told us to love our neighbors. Not just some of our neighbors, but all of our neighbors. So these are so just some of the questions that we have to ask ourselves. Are we loving all of our neighbors? Are we... Are we reaching out to, to those who are hurting? Are we reaching out to the poor, to the physically poor and to the poor in spirit? Are, are we uh, reaching out to those who have been pushed aside and loving them and, and trying to take care of some of their basic needs? But more importantly, are we sharing the good news with them? Because ultimately, that's the only thing that's going to change a heart, is the gospel. And uh, so I just want to encourage everybody to, to read this today and, and to just pray and ask God, God, am I conforming to the world? And if so, help me not to. Help me to be holy because you are holy. So I just, uh, I hope that we all just take our time to pray, to look at this. And that so when we do go out and we do 
go into the world uh, to bring change, to bring love, that we do it through this, right? So let's not just piggyback off the world. Let's look to Jesus and have him guide our ways. Okay, so I'll be praying for each and every one of you. And just remember, we're always here to, to help you, to talk to you through this, and, uh, and even to, um, to lead you in, in service. Okay, so we love you guys. We miss you. But remember, we can still serve now. So be well, and I can't wait to see you all.